This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Las Vegas, huge fight week, Wilder versus Fury 2. Delighted to be joined by, I'm just going to call you the jacket, <laughs> Leonard Ellaby. How are you, sir? How you doing, Coogan? Good seeing you. Very well. Yeah, uh, you've been in and around this uh, Las Vegas buzz for however many years, but there's something special about fighting here in Vegas. Yes, yeah, Vegas is the, the fight capital. And, and you, you know when you see the, the it's a tremendous buzz. I, I think this is a big event. Um, we promoted the biggest events ever in the history of sport. So I, I kind of, you know, have a feel for, for how things are going, you, you know, especially this late in the fight week. You, you know, the fans are excited all over the world. Absolutely. And the fight is a spectacle. Obviously, we've had to wait 14 months for this rematch to happen. And in a heavyweight division where there's so many fights that haven't been made yet, we have to acknowledge that we're getting two of the best fights in the space of 14 months. That's true. Um, you have two great champions who are in the prime of their career, willing to risk it all again in a great rematch. Um, you know, I, I think it'll be round 13, and both guys have, have a lot to prove, and... and it's going to be a great fight. Have you got a winner in mind? Is there someone you're swaying towards than the other, Leonard? Yeah, I think I think Wilder uh, stops him, and I actually think it'll be early. I think I think it'll be early. Uh, both are uh, great fighters. Um, I just think that Wilder has made the necessary adjustments um, that he that he needed to make. Um, there are some things that I'm privy to that uh, happen. You know, uh, prior to the first fight, not making any excuses, and I think we'll see the best version of both guys, both guys um, in in this fight. And I, 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 I anticipate the fight to end early. I've just been told today that uh, apparently the commission have barred a face-off after the weigh-in tomorrow as a result of what was happening at the press conference yesterday. What, what do you think about that, Lou? Well, um. Yeah. I support Bob Bennett and the and Nevada Commission and, and their decision. Um, and, and it's probably unfortunate for some of the fans who want to see that that last time that those stuff. But they'll get a chance to witness it on Saturday night. It's just the face-off. And um, Mr. Bennett and his uh, great staff, they just wanted to probably put the precautions um, in place to make sure that we get to the fight on Saturday night. You know, temperatures are... are um, Temperatures are flaring right now, and, you know, both guys are just eager to fight on Saturday night. And, um, you know, that's what the fans have, have come to Las Vegas and will be tuned in around the world to see these two guys go at it on Saturday night. Leonard, there's a, a subjective view on who the number one heavyweight is. A lot of people share the view that it's one of Fury or Wilder. Some, some people believe it's still Anthony Joshua. Where does Anthony Joshua fit into the, the mix of this heavyweight division after uh, putting that result against Andy Ruiz right in Saudi Arabia last year? Well, Anthony Joshua, he's definitely one of the top heavyweights out there. I, and just in my opinion, I think Wilder's the, the best of the, of the bunch. Um, Anthony Joshua proved a lot that he's a great champion. And oh, by the way, I'm sure all the UK fans know I picked against them. And, and you know, but I'm, I'm see, I'm cut a little differently. Um, you know, I, I'll admit when I'm wrong about something. And, you know, if, if I pick somebody, because you're not going to pick them all right. You know, there's not one person out there going to get them all right. And again, he, he surprised me. He came out. He got in terrific shape. He was very focused. And he dominated the fight. He did exactly what he needed to do. It's an interesting time for the heavyweight division. Um, I want to move on to uh, your guy. You obviously know I'm going to ask you about Tank Davis. Uh, what is the current situation with him at the moment, Leonard? Well, um, we're, we're right now. He's, um, he's actually he was in the gym earlier. Um, just he's, you know, working on his conditioning and, you know, getting back focused. Getting back focused. You, you know, when you're a young fighter, you know, there are a lot of temptations and things that go on and happen. It's just part of being a young fighter. And, um, again, he was in a, um, it was a, a terrible situation that we all aware of, and I'll just touch on it just briefly. Again, and he, he made a, a terrible mistake, and um, he's uh, very sorry for that. 
Um, he's very embarrassed, and um, he wants to be able to put it behind him and, and to become a better person. You know, um, he's acknowledged that, you know, where he went wrong and his decision making and, you know, so, you know, uh, we're just trying to, to, to give him the necessary tools and things that, to continue to be successful outside of the ring, you know, because, you know, um, I want to see him be a very successful young man. I want to be able to, to see him um, walk away from this sport at a young age with all his faculties with um, a bank full of money and, and have a great legacy. And, be, and, and but more importantly, be a productive uh, a member of society and, and be able to go out there and um, do the things that are necessary to uh, raise his daughter and, you know, things of that nature. There's obviously been, over the last few months, uh, talk of a potential fight with Mr. Ryan Garcia. Obviously, Oscar's spoken about it as well. How realistic is that for this year? Oh, well, I don't want to put a timetable on anything, but uh, if Ryan Garcia wants to fight Javante Davis, uh, he's definitely um, a guy that can get in line, and, and, and when his number's called, then his number will be called. Um, first things first, um, you, you know, there, there are a lot of things that have to happen. And you, you know, he's a terrific talent. I was very impressed with uh, the work that he's uh, put in his last two fights. Very impressive, very impressive. And, and I think that he's, he's ready for the next level. He, he, he wants all the smoke. He's calling out all the top guys, you know, but he wants, he wants the, the top guy. You know, so I respect that. I, I really do respect that. What did you make of Garcia's performance recently? And obviously had a small occasion there with Devin Haney there in the mix as well. What did you make of that situation? Well, I really didn't pay any attention to, you know, um, that part. I heard about it. Um, both were young fighters. They, they had, um, they've, they've had some interaction. Obviously, they fought in the amateur, amateurs a number of times. And um, I think that they might have the bouts might have been split down the middle, three and three, from my understanding. But both are, are very very young, you know. You know, I think both are 20. From yeah, yeah. So both of them have very bright futures ahead of them. Devin Haney, he's on the, uh, he's done a terrific job thus far. Him and his dad with with structuring their career, you know, with, um, you know, just becoming his own boss. You know, um, and there's no really no rush for you know. I know he's calling out all the top, but he's but it just don't work like that. It don't, it don't and and he'll understand him and his team. Uh, and it's never nothing personal, but it's all this is a business at the end of the day, and 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 we're looking to make the biggest events that are possible with the biggest names in the sport, and we know what we're doing. Before. Tevin Farmer obviously suffered that defeat to Diaz recently. There was always kind of, well, it was more what was online talks between yourself and Mr. Hearn and offers, etc., etc. Have you spoke to Eddie Hearn recently, Leonard? No, we haven't. We we there, we had a, a communication via email about um, an offer. Um, we haven't spoke at all. No business there to be done at the moment. No, it's. it's, it's I'm open to doing business with anybody. It just has to make sense for, for Mayweather Promotions. I don't really care about if it makes sense to anybody else. I have to look out for, for my company and my fighters. That's what, that's what I'm concerned about. I'm not concerned about what's, be what's best for, for, for Hearn and his company and for Bob and his company. I got to do what's best for, for, for my fighters and their careers. And was best as, the, as they would do for their fighter. Yeah, most definitely. And 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 I, again, I don't get in the middle of how people, other people run their company. But we, we're gonna do things the way we want to do them because we're in the driver's seat. Okay. Um, Leonard, obviously, every time I see you as well, you know I'm gonna ask you about any situation regarding Mr. Mayweather himself. Um, he, he loves to tease. He loves to put things out after relevant sporting, and not just boxing. Now we're looking at we're looking at UFC posts as well. But what, what's going on, then? Uh, Floyd, I uh, talked to him actually earlier. Uh, he's 
is he had a birthday coming up in a few days. So he's excited about his birthday and he's talking about some of the things that he's got going on. He's living his life, man. This guy is, he, he's having a, he, 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 this guy has a fucking phenomenal life. You know, he, he has, I mean, he makes eight figures a year sitting on his ass. You know, he don't have to do anything. He, you know, you know um, he gets seven figures a month for, for the rest of his life. You know, um, so when you look around and you think about that, there's probably only two or three fighters who generate more revenue than that in a year. Joshua's one of them, obviously. Um, Wilder's one. Um, Canelo. Can't they really think of anybody else. Can you? They're the main ones. So. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, he's put in the necessary work. He's had a fantastic career. He's broken all the records. And he's just living his best damn life. And I'm so proud and happy of him. You know, when he calls me up and he's in this country and this place. And I'm just so happy we laugh and we joke. You know, we, we're in constant communication, you know, about the business all the time. But he's just enjoying his life. And I'm just so ecstatic that he's able to finally do that. You know, and he'll, he'll, be, he'll be 43 years old um, on his birthday this week. And again... He's, he's ready to start uh, shifting to the next part of his life, you know, as the businessman. Strong, strongly links with Khabib as well, Lennon. Is there any legs in that? Who's there? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what... I don't know what's going on there. I think it's something on Radio Row anyway. Oh, OK. Um, what was your question? Khabib. Oh, Khabib is a beast. He's a beast. Uh, he's a, a phenomenal talent. Um, got a great deal of respect for him. Um, he, he's a beast. He's a beast. Likely chances of that ever happening, Floyd well, and Khabib? You, you never know. You, you, you never know. Um, these guys have, uh, again, Floyd has been, he's been the driver in the driver's seat of all of combat support, all, all of combat sports. He's been the face, and that's why everybody wants to get at him, you know, because he represents that challenge, the biggest payday out there, um, and they all want to test themselves, and, I, and I, I respect that. And what about a rematch with McGregor? Because, again, it's something that Floyd likes to talk about every time there's recently when McGregor won. Uh, here in Las Vegas. What's the likely chances of that, Lennon? Well, you never, you never know. Um, again, you know, if, if the business dictates a decision to be made by Floyd that that's something that he wants to do, I'm sure that that's something that'll, that'll happen. Um, they don't call him Money Mayweather for no reason at all. But as, as far as the, the other things, the speculation out there about, you know, some of these mythical matchups and fights. So let's not think about none of that stuff. Okay, we look forward to a great week here in Las Vegas. Leonard, Leonard B, I much appreciate your time, as always, you give us. So, uh, yeah, enjoy uh, Thank you. your week good, here, good, mate. Good talking to you. Good talking to you. Thank you. Okay.